Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a quick video on how to fix the fine fine K669-669B microphone when it's not working and how to set it up on your computer. Let's get started. Windows part. For Windows, you may encounter two abnormal situations. One is when the PC tells you straightforward, USB device not recognized, or you find no USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. The other one is USB PNP audio device does appear but no sound comes out. How should I know if the USB PNP audio device appears or not? Just right click the speaker icon on the lower right corner of your computer's taskbar, go to sound, recording device, you can see all the available input devices listed. If the mic is recognized, the USB PNP audio device will show up. Make sure it's enabled as default. If there's no USB PNP audio device appearing, or a USB device not recognized notification shows on the lower right corner of the screen, please follow the part one step of this guide. Part one, USB device not recognized slash no USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. One, test this mic on another computer and check if the USB PNP audio device appears. That's the fastest way to find if the mic malfunctions. Two, if no other PC is available, go to Device Manager to see if the USB device or unknown device shows up. Go to the Start menu and search Control Panel. Open up Device Manager and double-click Sound, Video, and Game Controllers and Universal Serial Bus Controllers. Check if USB PNP audio device or unknown USB device is in the list. 3. If USB PNP audio device or unknown USB device appears, right click it and choose Update Driver Software. Go to Browse My Computer for Driver Software, then go to Let Me Pick from a List of Device Drivers on My Computer. Select USB audio device or unknown USB device, then Next. Wait for a while. Now Windows has successfully updated your driver software. Then go back to Sound, Video, and Game Controllers, right-click USB PNP Audio Device, and choose Uninstall. If it's Unknown USB Device, you should go back to Universal Serial Bus Controllers, right-click Unknown USB Device, and choose Uninstall. Then your microphone driver will be removed. Finally, Restart your computer and plug the mic into another USB port without using a USB hub. If it still doesn't work, please email us with the result of the above tests. Part 2. USB PNP audio device does appear but no sound comes out. 1. Go to recording devices to check if the level meter moves when speaking into the mic. If nothing changed, Confirm that the input-output volume is not mute and set them to around 50 to 70% by double-clicking on default input-output to open their properties and adjusting the levels. Finally, adjust the on-body volume knob to get the volume level you want. 2. If the level meter remains the same, test the mic on another PC or restart your PC and plug the mic into another USB port without using a USB hub. Please note that if you have updated your Windows 10 system, follow step 4 below to allow the mic access to private settings. If this last step doesn't help, please email us. 3. You can see the level meter here. The mic is picking up audio when I am speaking. Turn to Playback Devices. Make sure the headphones slash speakers that you're using are default. Finally, click on the speaker icon on the lower right corner of the computer to confirm the system is not muted. Besides, the Fine Fine K669-669B is a cardioid pickup pattern and most of the cardioid mics have a bit shorter sweet range to capture sound. That means within 5 inches. So if you're not recording within its sweet spot, the volume could be a bit low. If you want to listen to yourself via headphones, 
a live audio monitoring test will help out. Under Recording Devices, double-click the USB PNP audio device to open Properties. Choose Listen and click the box Listen to this device. Click Apply. After finishing an audio monitoring test, you can disable the Listen to this device function. If you want to use this mic with other software, just enable the mic. USB PNP audio device as input device under software settings. Different apps vary a bit, but the option basically appears in the similar place. Preferences, audio, input. We will make a tutorial on how to set up the microphone on different apps later. 4. Feedback from some customers state that the mic no longer picks up any audio after the latest Windows 10 update. The USB PNP audio device appears but the level meter doesn't move when speaking into the mic. I am going to show you some of the steps to solve this problem. Let's move on to Start. Click on the Settings tab, Privacy, and Microphone. Click on this and you can see there's another area called Microphone Access for this device. Click on Change to confirm the device is on. But another important thing you need to look at here is below. Allow apps to access your microphone. Set it to allow apps to access the microphone as well as the other apps you will need to use with this mic below. Finally, restart your computer. Mac part. For Mac, there are two situations for if the mic is not working. One is no USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. The other is, USB PNP audio device does appear but no sound comes out. The first thing we are going to do is to check if the USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. Go to the top left of the screen, there is a little apple. Click on that, go down to System Preferences, Click on Sound and select Input. If there's no USB PNP audio device, please go to Part 1 to find the solutions. Part 1. No USB PNP audio device appears in the sound settings. 1. Test this mic on another computer and check if the USB device appears. That's the fastest way to find out if the mic malfunctions. 2. If no other PC is available, please unplug all the USB devices from your Mac and re-plug the mic into another USB port without using a USB hub. If it still doesn't work, please email us with the test result. Part 2. USB PNP audio device does appear but no sound comes out. 1. Go to input output Make sure the input output volume has been turned up. Also, adjust the on body volume knob to a decent level. 2. Go to input to check if the level meter moves when speaking into the mic. If nothing changed, restart your computer and replug the mic into another USB port without using a USB hub. If the result is the same and you have another PC available, please test this mic on another computer. 3. If the level meter moves, the mic is good to go. But to make sure the headphones slash speakers that you're using are default, please turn to output to check. Finally, click on the speaker icon on the top of the screen and confirm the system is not muted. Besides, the FineFine K669-669B is a cardioid pickup pattern and most of the cardioid mics have a bit shorter sweet range to capture sound. That means within 5 inches. So if you're not recording within its sweet spot, the volume could be a bit low. 4. But at the time, I still can't hear any feedback. You can click open the included app on your Mac, QuickTime Player. 4.1. Open QuickTime Player. 
4.2. Go to File, New Audio Recording. 4.3. Click the arrow next to the Record button, then choose USB PNP Audio Device. 4.4. To monitor audio while recording, adjust the volume slider. If you want to get more tutorials about audio monitoring on other apps, feel free to contact us and we will make it happen soon. Finally, FineFine provides a two-year warranty service plus lifetime tech support for our customers who register on our company website. P.S. Artificial damage is not within the scope of warranty. If you found our solutions not as useful as they should be, just contact us. We are always here to help. Thanks for watching. Fine Fine Technology.